Hey guys, thanks for checking out this video. It's the next in my series of doing like tips and strategies and all that jazz. So I had actually already recorded this and then put it up. And there were a couple things actually when I went back and kind of watched where I realized like I, I didn't explain that well or uh, I just need to do a little bit more uh, explanation. And uh, something else I did is I talked about a guy named Wacky Jackie. And... Um, Here's the thing. I definitely recommend that you watch his videos. I, I think he probably puts out some of the best uh, PUBG videos as far as sort of tips, strategies, um, as well as going in-depth with a lot of the different weapons. And in this game, I end up using the Tommy gun. And I had kind of referenced that, you know, to check out Wacky Jackie's videos, um, but he's never done one on the Tommy gun. So I'm not going to give a lot of specs or anything. So I'm going to give you the sort of the uh, dummies version of the Tommy gun. And at the end of the day, um, I think it is a great gun that is often overlooked. Uh, it is a great short range, uh, close quarters combat weapon, as well as even a medium range. Uh, there's a lot of pros to it. Uh, putting on the extended clip gives you 50 rounds. Um, the drawback is you, you can't uh, put uh, a sight on it, and you can't put an angled grip, just the uh, vertical foregrip. Um, but even then, uh, it is, you know, if you use it well, it turns out that it is a, it's a great weapon to have. So, um, at the end of the day, definitely check out Wacky Jack's videos goes over and uh, so we're gonna kind of look at a couple things there were a couple mistakes in this game uh, nothing too drastic one one mistake in particular um, that ends up costing a guy um, pretty severely I probably would have gotten him down anyway uh, just based on sort of where it all ended up but uh, so let's go ahead and just kind of get into this game. So obviously you can see where the circle is. You can see where I'm at down here in Los Leones. Uh, there's a group of us that are down here in this area, which is pretty typical. There's actually not a ton of people in Los Leones. So uh, it was a little odd. Okay, so with this game, where I jump in... Whenever I jump into Los Leones, I try to jump over into sort of the east side. And the reason I like to do that, I also like to jump into the south side. But the reason I like to do it is I'll hit this warehouse, then I'll run across the street and hit here. And I will even hit these buildings over here. Now, th these buildings right here, including the warehouse, will often have level 3 gear. Uh, so that's why I try to hit those uh, as well as scopes and everything else. So uh, I had found an 8 scope into here. So when I run into this building, I found a Tommy gun and I had an M16. Now when I leave there, I end up finding a car 98 over here. So I ended up taking the Tommy gun and choosing it over the M16. A lot of people like the M16. I'm not as big a fan of the M16. I'm just not. Um, I'm a big fan of the Tommy gun. So I wanted to just go ahead and uh, stick with it and use the Car 98 with my 8 scope because you can't put the 8 scope on the M16. So we'll look at a couple guys too. Uh, Rusty Pan Sam, um, he actually had a really good game um, and he did a couple really good things in this game. And so we'll, we'll, we'll kind of look at him a little bit. Uh, another guy who uh, I had mentioned before in the other video I did. Um, is a guy named Claim Jumper. Now, Claim Jumper, I don't know this guy. Um, what I do know about him is I will play a lot of games and uh, I'll see his name jump up. And he usually has uh, a lot of kills in the game. So I don't know who this guy is, uh, but he, he's a, actually a really good player. So he's already uh, hit a um, an airdrop. He's got a ghillie suit. Um, he's got the big old sniper rifle here. Uh, I believe that's the M24, might be M249, I, I can never remember, um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. So anyway, I mean that might even be the AWM, I don't remember. Um, so he ends up having a really good game, he gets a couple good kills. And so 
all that's really kind of happening on my end, I'm still in the building I'm in. And that's typically because a lot of times what will happen is there will be players who will jump um, south of Leones and they will end up down here. And so I kind of hung out where I was just to see if I could pick off some stragglers who would be coming in to kind of just protect uh, my back uh, when I end up leaving. So I'll end up leaving there, moving up, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, and we will go ahead and kind of fast forward a little bit. And we will see where we end up. There's a guy who ends up coming in over from this area. He might already be gone. Rusty Pan Sam um, ends up taking out a guy, I think, Johnny968. Uh, I'm not sure if he's made an appearance yet. Uh, I really don't know. Well, let's look at... Nope, he hasn't. So this guy is coming up uh, from over here. He ends up getting into a fight. He actually gets right by me, but he doesn't know that I'm there, and I'm at an odd angle, and um, the, the buildings were actually in my way, and it was it took place right right over here. Or, I'm sorry, right over here. So I don't see him, and uh, he I hear him, but I don't see him, and then um, he gets into a fight with good old Rusty. Rusty ends up taking him out. So the circles in this game to start with had been really, really good. So I was in the first one. Um, uh, I knew where the second one was going to be because it was really close. It was still inside Leones. So I'm moving up. Johnny ends up getting up to, uh, gets into this elevated position over here. He's still looting. I'm down here and I can hear somebody, but I don't know. So I can hear him moving around. I don't know if he knows where I'm at. So I'm kind of looking in every direction to see if this guy's coming around, and he ends up just kind of moving over. Gets into a fight with Russ, and uh, Rusty hears him coming. This guy doesn't hear Rusty, so he's kind of looking in every direction. So now he hears him. Johnny takes a shot and then jumps down and gets taken out. So the circle is about to hit, and you'll see where the next circle is. And the next circle kind of dictated uh, a lot uh, about what I wanted to do. So that circle hits, next one comes in. So again, it's really close to where I'm at. So what I want to do is I want to get up onto this area. Reason I want to do that is I'm still thinking that there's a chance that there are going to be people who are coming from the from the east, probably not a ton, but uh, some um, from over in this area, or maybe even from back here. So I'd be able to kind of scope out this area. But the other reason is because I want to make sure that I can look down into this area. And the reason is because I can hear gunshots. So I know that there's a lot of people over here. The problem is I don't know where they are. So I've got a car 98 with an eight scope. So I've got a great opportunity to kind of just pick people off as they're coming out of here, running up into this area. Problem is um, I, I don't actually end up seeing anybody coming out of this area, but it still puts me in a good position. And the other thing is it allows me to sort of see where this next circle is going to be and then I'm able to kind of look down into this area. So being in an elevated spot right here has a ton of advantages so that's where I'm trying to get uh, trying to get up here. So we're looking at one guy, Contracore, and we're going to see a mistake that he ends up making. So he's worked his way from down here all the way up to uh, this area. And he has a, actually a really good idea uh, about what it is that he wants to do, which is similar to what it is that I was trying to do. So he's running up to here. He's going to end up laying down over here on these rocks, and he's going to be looking to see if he can't pick somebody coming off. Now, the two weapons that this guy has is an M16 with a red dot and a uh, double barrel shotgun. Now, we're going to end up seeing the mistake that this guy makes I've made my way up here. Um, I'm going to slow it down here in a second. So I'm kind of looking over into these areas, kind of looking to see. And now we're going to slow it down, and we're going to kind of show you what happens. So 
What ends up happening is Rusty hears where I'm coming from. He knows that there's somebody over in this area, so he's kind of moving over to investigate. The problem that he's got is I can hear him too. So once I hear him, I know that somebody's coming. So I go ahead and stay behind the box for the cover. I go ahead and lean out from my shot. And what we're going to end up seeing happening is Contra is moving over to me. But the thing is, he doesn't want to use the M16. He wants to use his double barrel shotgun for close quarters combat. Now, the reason I say he wants to do this is because you'll see the mistake he makes is he tries to switch weapons. He's got his M16 out. Now, M16 is not a bad close quarters weapon. It's a good medium range weapon, even long range weapon. So if he wanted to have the shotgun out, he needed to already kind of have the shotgun out. So if I do it in real time, it's kind of hard to see, but if I slow it down, as soon as he starts taking fire, he tries to switch weapons, and it just ends up costing him. Uh, he doesn't have the ability to get the shotgun up before I've already got him down. So he ends up going down. Uh, so I take him out. Uh, I raid him real quick. Um, and then I see where the new circle is. So the new circle is over here. Now, the problem with this is uh, it's a little bit of a distance. I'm going to be in this plain area right here, but I'm going to kind of be able to move over. Uh, Archangel, he moves down. There's a couple guys in here that are going to start moving down. Uh, Rusty ends up taking off. Uh, Dubby and Riptide Snail. I can't remember which one of them comes out of this, but one of them ends up making uh, a small mistake and it's a mistake that I've made a million times, so um, we'll just kind of <laughs> look to see what the mistake is so you can see. But here's the problem. Cir circle's coming in, so the mistake, okay, so it's uh, W. Here's the thing. This guy is taking off running, and you can see how much damage this guy is taking at this point. <laughs> so... While all this is going on, I'm over there, uh, that's me. I end up taking a shot at a guy uh, at Valker over there, and I'll go back and kind of show you the reason why I did it. So here's the mistake, mistake for Dubby. He's taking so much damage, he tries to heal up, he waited too long. He ends up dying to the play zone, and he needed to just basically heal up. I mean, he might have had a lot of first aid kits, and... Um, he just sort of mistimed it. So that's a mistake that I've made a million times uh, in the past. So I'm not dogging the guy too harshly. It's something I've done. So, okay, so what I just did is when I came down here, I saw Valker over here. So I ended up taking a shot. I can't remember if I've already taken the shot or not. Um, I think I already took the shot. So... No, maybe I didn't. I can't remember. Uh, what I wanted to do... Yeah, I already did take the shot. Uh, at least I think I did. Yeah, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I already did. Okay. So that Valker moves his way down there. I stopped to heal up, but I had several first aid kits at this point. So I wasn't worried about uh, taking the damage. Uh, I knew I was going to be able to take damage, take more damage, and it wouldn't be a big deal because I would be able to get to the next circle. So the reason I took a shot at Valker is I wanted him to kind of move from where he was because if he had looked over to where I was, he easily would have been able to kind of snipe me. So by taking the shot that I did, it, it, it kind of scared him. Not really scared, but uh, kind of makes him like, okay, we'll move from here because somebody sees me and, and he wasn't sure uh, who took the shot. So at this point, I'm just healing up, and you can see where the next circle is. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to actually just crawl into the next circle. And the reason I'm doing it is because I know I can make it, but on top of that, I'm in the plains. So when you're in the plains, you are easy to be seen. So uh, I've got the ability to kind of not be seen at the moment by crawling, so that's what I'm going to do. 
So we're going to look at Rusty at the moment. Now what Rusty's doing is he actually hears Archangel taking shots at a guy up here. Guy uh, is Raznikov. Uh, he actually hit him. And Raznikov is staying in this building. Rusty actually moves over, gets into position. And Archangel obviously isn't healing up. So he must not have had anything else at this point. Um... He's still taking shots at Raznikov. So he starts moving up. Rusty ends up seeing him. And he gets taken down. So Rusty goes ahead and heals up. And he's going to end up starting to move over. We still have Valker over here. Tuka. And Tuka's down here and Valker is shooting at Raznikov <laughs> and these two are in this fight and um, neither one of them gets each other down so Valker's moving back uh, Tuka is going to start moving up and we'll set it back to two times where am I in all this guys I'm just slowly moving into the circle so once I'm in the circle uh, I see where the next circle is going to be so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start crawling, and then I have to get up and uh, kind of move into the circle. So you'll you'll see that. Not that that's exciting, because uh, it's not. So Valker is now moving down. He sees Tuka coming up. Tuka sees him. He does a lot of damage to Valker. Uh, Tuka did a really good job advancing up this hill. So he's able to get him trouble Tuka is able to finish him off now Rusty at this point um, is moving over still using a lot of cover and I talk a lot about being elevated in the game and it's important to be elevated the difference here right now uh, is this is a like I said it's the plains so it's a big flat area so it's a lot better for Rusty to actually be you know in a non elevated position because if he gets to the top everyone can kind of see him he can see everybody but here he's a little bit hidden so he's doing a really good job uh, in using this okay so here's the thing that Rusty did really well right now so he ends up hearing these gunshots um, from over in this building now if you look at the map it's it's hard to see because you can see where everybody is at this point so in real time you're not seeing this you're just seeing buildings so like that looks like a building so that would be a building over here so now this is technically not a building but it is sort of cover uh, it's just not very good cover so at this point uh, where I'm at over here uh, I'm kind of looking, but I'm doing what everybody else would be doing, which is, you know, we all know that there is somebody over here in this building. So I'm actually now looking through my 8 scope, through using the CAR 98, and I am looking over there trying to see if I can't scope somebody out. And if I had seen somebody, I would have taken the shot. Um, but here's what I also knew uh, Tuka just took out somebody over on this side took out Zach so what Tuka is now doing um, he's healing up he's getting situated so I do not want to kind of move in that area so we're gonna go back and kinda of look so here's basically where I'm at so I know that there's someone over in this area I also know that there is somebody in this building I don't know where the third guy is so when the next circle hits and I've got 51 seconds at this point here's what I know I I do not want to go this way and that's because I know someone's over here but I don't know where they are I don't want to go straight into the circle because if I do that I know that whoever's over on this side is also going to be advancing I also know at this point that whoever's in this building does not need to move so they're gonna have cover they're gonna be able to look out the window they're going to either see me coming in they're gonna see uh, Tuka over here my best bet is going to be for me to actually move down this way and then up into the circle. Uh, there's still a couple unknowns for me at that point, but it's still the best option that I've got. So going back to Rusty, the thing that he d did really well was kind of using the terrain here. But the other thing he did well was 
he heard Raznikov just take out uh, Amir uh, a minute ago. So when Amir NN goes down, basically everybody who's left knows that there's somebody in this building. Now, it would have been really easy for Rusty to just immediately advance on this building and try to get down, you know, whoever's in there. But instead of doing that, Rusty just kind of let the game unfold. So what he's saying to himself is, all right, well, I know where one guy is. One guy's in this building. I don't know where the other two are. So there's no point like to immediately rush to this building to get into a fight because he knows that he's eventually going to get into a fight with whoever's in there. What he's trying to wait and see is, all right, well, is there anybody else close to this building? Is there anybody else who's going to get into a fight? Because then a player can get eliminated, and at the same time, you know, I can kind of swoop in and take out whoever's here. Uh, so that is kind of what the scenario is at the moment. Uh, Tuca, for him, all he's trying to do is just trying to get into the circle at this point. So uh, as the seconds start to tick away what I eventually tell myself is this um, I know I'm going to have to get up and run now I can either get up and run right now or I can wait for the blue zone and it will kind of force me to move or what I'm really hoping for is that I'm going to end up hearing gunshots now the reason I want to hear gunshots is because the moment I hear shots that's when I'm going to get up and start moving because with four people left, I got to worry about three other people. If I hear gunshots, then I know that at least two people are focused on one another. They're not going to be looking in my direction. So it gives me an advantage rather than me getting up and kind of moving immediately. So I'm still crawling. Here comes the blue circle. And I'm just waiting. I hear gunshots. I get up and boom, I just start moving. So unfortunately for Rusty... Um, and we'll slow it down a little bit just so you can kind of see it from my perspective um, speed it up a little bit so I'm hearing the gunshots Rusty almost got uh, Raznikov down over here so I'm swinging around I'm getting up and I bring up the Tommy gun well I chuck a grenade because I knew someone was going to be near this building and I just kind of wanted to uh, see if I couldn't get somebody out I run up, I end up seeing Rusty, uh, I go ahead and take some shots because he's the closest target and I know I got to get in here. Uh, I didn't do any damage to him, I go ahead and kind of reload. Raznikov ends up getting Rusty down. Uh, um, and the funny thing is right there, Tuka actually was shooting Raznikov through the window. Raznikov gets a couple really good hits on me. I, I start to heal and I stop. And I'm able to get Raznikov down. Again, guys, Tommy Gun is a great gun. It's powerful. It does a lot of damage. And so at this point, it's me and one other guy. So I'm kind of where in the position that Rusty was in a minute ago. I'm going to use the terrain. And I'm going to start just kind of peeking up. I'm looking in every direction. So I chuck a grenade over to the rocks where I just was. And I also throw another grenade over to the building over there just because I'm thinking those are the two areas that I think somebody could be right now. So I kind of work around and I start peeking again and I see the guy and I'm able to get him down because again medium range Tommy gun does a lot of damage it's a powerful gun and so I ended up getting a, a great chicken dinner three kills all with the Tommy gun so don't be so quick to not use the Tommy gun. Uh, it is a better gun than a lot of people think in the game. Uh, as far as weapons go, um, it's honestly, it's one of my favorite guns to have. So, alrighty guys, thanks so much for watching this video, and we will catch you next time. See ya.